Joshua, chapter 18. After Israel had captured the land, they met at Shiloh and set up the sacred tent. There were still seven tribes without any land, so Joshua told the people, The Judah tribe has already settled in its land in the south, and the Joseph tribes have settled in their land in the north. The tribes of Gad, Reuben, and East Manasseh already have the land that the Lord's servant Moses gave them east of the Jordan River. And the people of Levi won't get a single large region of the land like the other tribes. Instead, they will serve the Lord as priests. But the rest of you haven't done a thing to take over any land. The Lord God who was worshipped by your ancestors has given you the land, and now it's time to go ahead and settle there. Seven tribes still don't have any land. Each of these tribes should choose three men, and I'll send them to explore the remaining land. They will divide it into seven regions, write a description of each region, and bring these descriptions back to me. I will find out from the Lord our God what region each tribe should get. Just before the men left camp, Joshua repeated their orders. Explore the land and write a description of it. Then come back to Shiloh, and I will find out from the Lord how to divide the land. The men left and went across the land, dividing it into seven regions. They wrote down a description of each region, town by town, and returned to Joshua at the camp at Shiloh. Joshua found out from the Lord how to divide the land, and he told the tribes what the Lord had decided. Benjamin was the first tribe chosen to receive land. The region for its clans lay between the Judah tribe on the south and the Joseph tribes on the north. Benjamin's northern border started at the Jordan River and went up the ridge north of Jericho, then on west into the hill country as far as the beth Desert. From there it went to Luz, which is now called Bethel. The border ran along the ridge south of Luz, then went to ataroth Orek, and on as far as the mountains south of Lower beth Horon. At that point, it turned south and became the western border. It went as far south as Kiriath Baal, a town in Judah now called Kiriath Jerim. Benjamin's southern border started at the edge of Kiriath Jerim and went east to the ruins and on to Neftoa Spring. From there, it went to the bottom of the hill at the northern end of Rephaim Valley. The other side of this hill faces Hinnom Valley which is on the land that slopes south from Jerusalem. The border went down through Hinnom Valley until it reached Enrogel. At Enrogel, the border curved north and went to En Shemesh and on east to Gililoth, which is across the valley from Adummim Pass. Then it went down to the monument of Bohan, who belonged to the Reuben tribe. The border ran along the hillside north of Beth Araba, then down into the Jordan River Valley. Inside the valley, it went south as far as the northern hillside of Beth Hogla. The last section of the border went from there to the northern end of the Dead Sea, at the mouth of the Jordan River. The Jordan River itself was Benjamin's eastern border. These were the borders of Benjamin's tribal land, where the clans of Benjamin lived. One region of Benjamin's tribal land had 12 towns with their surrounding villages. Those towns were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emekizes, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Pera, Afra, Kepharamoni, Ophni, and Geba. In the other region, there were the following 14 towns with their surrounding villages Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Tarala, Zila, Heileph, Gibeah, kiriath Jerim, and Jerusalem, which is also called Jebusite Town. These regions are the tribal lands of Benjamin.